In the beginning, there is nothing, no matter, no energy, not even empty space. From nowhere appears a fireball smaller than an atom. 10 trillion trillion times hotter than the core of the sun. Everything that will become the universe explodes from a point millions of times smaller than a pinprick. Time begins. In one second, the blueprint for the entire cosmos is written. To analyze what happens, scientists use a new measure of time called Planck time. One Planck time equals 10 to the minus 43 seconds. That's a decimal point, 42 zeros, and then a one. It's an unimaginably small amount of time. Yet in this first tiny beat of Planck time, something happens that shapes the next 13.7 billion years. Out of the fireball, the four fundamental forces of nature form. Those forces underpin everything around us. Gravity is the reason stars and planets form. It rules the moon and tides and keeps us on the ground. Electromagnetism lights our cities, connects our phones, and runs our computers. And the two nuclear forces, strong and weak, bind the particles that make up our bodies and power the furnace of our sun. We're here because in the first second after the Big Bang, the four forces are created. But in the first beat of Planck time, the four forces are still rolled into a single super force. Gravity, nuclear, and electromagnetic forces have not yet divided. As our cosmic clock takes one more tick of Planck time, the tiny fireball universe expands. The four forces start to break apart. It's like rapidly cooling a super hot crystal. Cracks form. Those four fragments are still at work. Gravity keeps Earth in orbit. Nuclear forces make sunshine. And electromagnetic radiation, the light that bathes our planet. We're just fractions of a second into our journey, and already the foundations of our world are forming. The fireball universe. Still smaller than an atom, and a thousand trillion trillion degrees. A few beats of Planck time tick by on our cosmic clock, and the fireball universe is transformed. One instant, the universe is billions of times smaller than an atom. The next, it inflates to the size of a baseball, growing more in this moment than in all the 13.7 billion years to come. The only explanation is the universe inflates countless times faster than the speed of light. Inflation expands the fireball universe evenly, like a balloon blowing up with a phenomenal breath of energy. Less than a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, the fireball universe rapidly expands. Now an ultra-hot globe big enough to sit in the palm of your hand, the universe is seething with energy and radiation. But as the palm-sized universe expands and cools, something new starts to form. So far on our cosmic clock, the early universe is nothing but energy. We're only a fragment of a second into our journey. The first particles of matter appear. When matter first appears in the universe, the quarks are so dense and so energized that the entire universe is like a liquid. The universe went from a glowing ball of energy to quark soup in less than a blink of an eye. 
flooded with tiny particles in constant vigorous interaction. As our cosmic clock reaches a millionth of a second, the universe continues to expand and cool. It grows from the size of a baseball to the size of our solar system. Matter has materialized from pure energy. A split second after the Big Bang, and the universe is flooded with the building blocks of atoms. These tiny particles of matter must survive in a battleground. A millionth of a second after the Big Bang, and a battle rages. When matter and antimatter clash, the result is explosive. As the cosmic clock nears the end of the first second, nature's four forces have split off from the single superforce. The winner of the matter and antimatter war has been decided, and the subtle ripples in temperature that stretch across the universe mean that over the next billion years, gravity gathers clumps of matter to form galaxies. We know so much about the first second. What gives everything in the universe mass? Then in 1964, at Britain's University of Edinburgh, physicist Peter Higgs comes up with a groundbreaking theory. He suggests an invisible force field sweeps across the universe in the first second, giving particles their mass. It's become known as the Higgs field. Our cosmic clock takes its final beat of Planck time. The universe is one full second old. It's about a thousand times the size of our solar system and flooded with particles of matter, the raw material of everything around us. The universe is cool enough for the sea of quarks to bunch in threes, forming protons and neutrons. In the next few minutes, the universe cools enough for protons and neutrons to form the first atomic nucleus. 300,000 years later appears the first atom. In hundreds of millions of years, matter clumps to form the first stars. And in a billion years, galaxies like the Milky Way. More than nine billion years after the Big Bang, Earth is born. One Big Bang, one single second. The genesis of everything.